In today's episode, the Lumen Top GT Mini. I'm really glad this little guy is here, and by little, I mean, like, little guy. It's tiny. I... Compared to Big Brother, I mean, it's just itsy. I was, when they said that uh, there was going to be a GT Mini, I was expecting, like, you know, a Havzy, something... You know, I still needed almost two hands for, and this guy, it's littler than, it's littler than my C8. It's even saving some size there. The head's just slightly bigger around there, and they did a good job, you know, cloning this too. I mean, when you just stop and look at that, it really does just look like a miniature version. It's a good clone, I think. Something else that's good news about this is we're out of the prototyping phase on this. Uh, the last I read in the thread, Neil has some of the lights and they're beginning to ship already. So instead of the big long ordeal we went through with that, it's like, hey, time to go. Uh, some of the killer features on this... Um, we did get a lighted switch, just like on the big guy, which I kind of like on this one. Um, it is, it's using XPL high instead of the XHP35 high, but that's, I think, is just fine for this size light. And we got, in this tail cap, listen to those threads. How nice and smooth. And this is a good quality, well-built light. I'm really happy with mine. Looking down here at the tail cap, something else. We got those double gold springs right there for lower resistance, but without having to go to a thicker spring to make a battery smasher. And that's just... That's just one of those little details that I really like that Lumen Top pays attention to. This is the kind of light that you get when companies pay attention to what forum members are saying is this kind of stuff. So good job to Lumen Top again on that. The driver board in this one is a it's a MOSFET driver. So that does mean that the output is going to follow the curve of your battery just a little bit. What for me that's fine. I use MOSFETs in most all of my light builds. Um, we did get also Narsil firmware still, so we have our one click on, one click off, and we get the ramp. Mm. Double click for turbo. I think this is a premium light. Um, the price on it right now is $39.95. It's every bit as good as premium lights that I have that are 60 or 80 or $120. Okay, here's a quickie of the beam profile. Here's our GT Mini. Hot spot at about three to four feet. And here is the C8. Just about the same size hot spot. With the C8 we get a bit more Corona though, at least with this one. Um, you can see the GT Mini has almost none. There is a little bit I can see on the wall. The camera kind of washes out and makes it look like it's hot spot. With this, got a pretty substantial Corona around it. That's that center ring 
right here, if you didn't know, is Corona, and then out here is your spill. Something else that came in the mail this week is my calibration light from Malka, so why don't we run out to the shop and see how these daddies are performing. Okay, I've really not had much of a chance to mess around with these yet. I just got them, and so I've still got to make some adjustments to my system and get dialed in, but um, I did get my calibration light, and as you can see here, uh, I have the number that Malka tested this at, and so I've calibrated off of this and adjusted my multiplier accordingly. So this is going to give us a real good idea of what the light's actually performing at and how it actually compares to a couple of other known sources. Okay, so first up we're going to check uh, a C8. This is a C8 that has a MOSFET driver in it. It's not the original one I built in my video, but it's uh, a similar one I built out of a cheap host, so we'll see. Now we will do the GT Mini on turbo. And finally we will check the Ace BML 16. Okay, after crunching the numbers, I see a couple of things here. We got 900 lumens from our C8, we got almost 1300 from the GT Mini and we're looking at 1500 plus on the L6 or L16 sorry which means a couple of things it means number one that particular C8 is grossly underperforming so I'm not sure if I just got a really low bin LED in this one or if I did a terrible job building it but either way I apologize for not being more prepared than that okay so I did figure out the deal with the C8 it it's more than one thing we are getting slightly higher current in the GT Mini we also have an underachieving LED. <laughs> okay, obviously while we were testing the light with this uh, tail cap on the C8, we were probably getting a little bit less current than that. Um, I do have this bypassed in here, but going through a mechanical switch, you still lose some current with the uh, double spring and no switch on the Mini. That's probably about right, what we're getting on current there at that test. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.